good morning, good evening, depending on what time you are listening to this. Welcome to CMA Podcast Daily Bible Reading. I am the chaplain for the Bloomington, Illinois chapter of the Christian Motorcycle Association, and today is January 6th, 2023. And today we'll be reading out of the ESV version, and we are picking up. And today we are reading Genesis 5 and 6, so... Here we go. We've got to keep up with the tight schedules that we have going on, so we've got to keep that going. This is the book of the generations of Adam. When God created man, he created him in the likeness of God. Male and female, he created them. He blessed them and named them man when they were created. And when Adam lived 130 years, he fathered a son in his own likeness. After his image... And named him Seth. The days of Adam, after he fathered Seth, were 800 years, and then he had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and then he died. When Seth had lived 105 years, he fathered Enosh. Seth lived, after he fathered Enosh, 807 years, and had other sons and daughters, thus all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. When Enosh lived 90 years, he fathered Kenan. Enosh lived after he fathered Kenan 815 years, and had other sons and daughters, thus all the days of Enosh were 905 years, and he died. When Kenan lived 70 years, he fathered uh, Malahal, <laughs> Kenan lived after he fathered Mahalalel, Ma- 840 years, and other sons and daughters, and thus all the days of Kenan were 910 years. When Mahalalel lived 65 years, he fathered Jared. Mahalalel lived after he had fathered Jared 830 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Mahalalel were 895 years after he died. When Jared lived 162 years, he fathered Enosh. Jared lived after he fathered Enosh 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Jared were 962 years, and he died. When Enosh lived 65 years, he fathered Methuselah. Enosh walked with God after he fathered Methuselah 300 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Enosh were 365 years. Enosh, Enoch walked with God, and he was simply not, for God took him. When Methuselah had lived 187 years, he fathered Limelech. Methuselah lived after he fathered Limelech 782 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus the days of Methuselah were 969 years, and he died. When Limelech had lived 182 years, he fathered a son and called his name Noah, saying, Out of the ground that the Lord had cursed, this one shall bring us relief from our work and from the painful toil of our hands. Lemelech lived after he fathered Noah 595 years. Lemelech lived after he fathered Noah 595 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Lemelech were 777 years. And he died. After Noah was 500 years old, Noah fathered Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Moving on to Genesis 6. When man began to multiply on the face of the land and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of man were very attractive. And they took as their wives many that they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not abide in man forever, for he is flesh. His days shall be numbered a hundred and twenty years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterward when the sons of God came in, Uh, to the daughters of man, and they bore children to them. They were the mighty men of those old and the men of renown. The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord regretted that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him to his heart. So the Lord said, I will blot out 
Man, I will blot out man whom I have created from the face of the land, man and animals and creeping things and birds of the heavens, for I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a righteous man, blameless in his generation. Noah walked with God, and Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight, and the earth was filled with violence. And God saw the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth. And God said to Noah, I have determined to make an end of all flesh, for the earth is filled with violence through them. Behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and out with pitch. Now this is how you are going to be making it. The length of the ark is 300 cubits, its breadth 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits. Make a roof for the ark and the fish and finish it to a cubit above and set the door on the ark on the inside. Make it with a lower, second, and third decks. For behold, I will bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all fish in which is the breath of life under heaven. Everything that is on the earth shall die. But I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall come to the ark, you, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you. And every little thing... And every living thing of all flesh you shall too of every sort into the ark and keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female of the birds according to their kinds and of the animals according to their kinds and every creeping thing on the ground according to its kind. Two of every sort shall come into you and keep them alive. They shall take with you every sort of food that is eaten and store it up and it shall serve as food for you and for them. Noah did this. And he did all that God commanded him. Well, a little bit longer one today, guys. Um, but the, the, we're going to do two today so we can stay on schedule for the, for the end of the year. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you for, thank you for listening. And uh, thank you if you did listen and make it all the way here after you got past all what I call the begotting. <laughs> and you got past Adam's generation. Just keep in mind that that is... Um, the Bible just is the same as your favorite Bible verse. And uh, frankly, you should be a little jealous that all those people made it into the Bible. The reason why I love that verse so much is because it is, it is history that we can point to as evidence for God's existence and how we got here. It is important work that God did to establish that we actually have a purpose and our generations matter and all of the generations from before that, as you see all in that, and I'll probably be doing a little bit of commentary on this verse uh, for today. So anyway, go ahead and check it out later tonight when it comes out. Um, I hope this finds you well. And in the name of Jesus Christ.